I am trying to solve this problem. The problem says composition of marks in one of your courses are given uh, in the second column of the following table. So this is the percentage you get for each component of this course. And these are the grades that you have had. Now we want to know what is your overall grade. So in 10% you have got 80. Go here and go up. So that is 10% times 80 which is 8. Now I copy it down. 30% 90, 27, 20% 90, 18, and 40% 70, 28. And your overall grade is summation of these numbers equal to 81. Alternately, alternatively, I could have come here and I could have said sum product. And after some product, I will say this one and this one and this one and this one, these four items, comma, one by one, multiply by this one, this one, this one, this one, and then sum that multiplications up. It will give me the same results. Let's go to part B. <clears throat> In part B, you have not taken the final exam yet, but you have completed these three tasks. And if I, I could do equal to sum product, it will be these three numbers, comma, these three numbers, which I should add them together, and that is 53. So 53 is there. Alternatively, I could have done the same summation and multiplication. Then I could have come down. And if I add these three numbers, it is again 53. So the student has got 53, but we know that his grade is not 53 because he has 80, 90, and 90. How could the average of those things uh, be 53? The problem here is summation of these weights are not 100%. They are 60%. In order to make it 100%, first I come and sum these three numbers together. So the summation of these three numbers is 60%. Now if I want to compute the relative weight of each of these compared to the total, and I should lock the total because I'm going to copy it down, that one is 17 percent, something 16 point something percent. And if I divide 30 by 60, so equal to 30 relative divided by 60 absolute, Enter 50%, and if I copy it down, 33%. And now, if I do some product over these numbers, equal to sum product, D 
this one and this one and this one or if you want the same residence these percentages one by one multiplied by the grades that you have got and your grade will be 88.33 how could I make this 53 is equal to this one it is very easy I have 53 out of 60 percent so if I divide it equal to if I divide 53 by 60 percent I will get the same 88.33 and if I want to know what grade is this, this 88.33, what grade it is, I could say equal to V look up, V look up, V look up for what? For this grade, where? Here, where I have defined what percentage is equivalent to what final grade and so it says we look up what I'm saying we look up for 88.33 where in the first column of this matrix and what is the corresponding number you wanna you want me to return I say I want you to return the number in the second column of this matrix and so I put two and I enter it. Therefore, the grade of this student up to now, while it is 53, but it is 53 out of 60, which is 88.33, and it is uh, A minus. The last part is. Suppose you have taken these three exams and you want to make sure that you will get a B plus finally in this course. What, what is the minimum grade you can have in final to make sure that you at least have a B plus in this course? B plus is 86. So, what I should do, I had this 53. I'll go over there and I write 80. 6, which is what I need, and 53, what I have up to now, that is 33. I need 33 points in the final. To make sure that I will get a B plus or 86 in the course, but to get 33 point in the final, which is directly added to this 53, I should get something more than 33 in final because whatever I get in final, only f it will be multiplied by 0.4 and then it will be added to my other grades because weight of the final exam was... 40%, correct? So, if I want purely 33 points to be added to this 53 and make it 86 because whatever I get, 40% 40, 40 of it will be added to that one. Therefore, I will say equal to 33 divided by 40%. And that is what I should get in final. Because if I multiply this 82.5 by 40%, 
it will become thirty three, which is what I need to get in five. Secure me a B plus. Thank you very much.